Great, so now we can click on your site title to get back to the home page, and it's finally time to start creating our website. So we'll try to follow as predictable of a workflow as possible, and we're just gonna start creating your home page top to bottom, and then we'll create the next page, and then the next page, and the next page from top to bottom. We'll make sure they're all linked together and they all look really good with a similar overarching style, and yet that each one of them does their own unique thing, each one of the pages, that is. All right, so the first step is just to click Edit Page at the top, and now we can click Edit with Elementor. And what a lot of WordPress peoples don't realize is that there's really cool templates here, which you can install to make your website more powerful. Now, we're not going to use a template, um, even though we have in the past, because this time we want to learn how to build everything from scratch. But if you do need to just hop away, or if your boss is going to look at the website you made tomorrow, and you need something good, um, maybe you even work at a law firm or something, and you know this would be perfect then. You just grab a template, it's got some content, you can just write in your own headers, your own text, put in your own pictures, but it will all look like a real website right away. And yeah, if you work for a law firm, it's even better. And so you can make your website look like a real website in a lot of different categories. There are a ton in the template section. And again, to use them, you just click on one like restaurant, and then you click insert, and then whatever page on your website you insert this into will become the entire template, and it'll look really cool. So even though we want to create every section of your website from scratch, I've looked through all these templates, and there's two, exactly two sections that I really love, and if you look through them, maybe you can find more. And I, above all, just want your websites to look incredible, and so I want to show you how to use these two specific sections. And this is one of them with the checkered pattern. That's really cool. I've never seen anything like this before in a WordPress website. So I want to show you how to just grab this specific section if you think it's going to be good for your website, which I definitely do think is good because they can make your website look really cool. So this is one of them that we're looking at here. And what I want you to do is just click insert here on this restaurant template. All right. And so it's going to become our page, Donald and Preston, our suites. And of course, you can choose any of these to keep if you want. Uh, this is just like one of my favorite templates by far, specifically this checkered box pattern area because it has the slider and then it has a video down here. Really cool stuff. It's got the parallax section. So what I'm gonna do for this website here we're building, and again, it's up to you if you wanna keep like visit us or keep the whole thing, you could just update it. I'm actually gonna delete from top to bottom, delete. Delete. We're going to keep the checkered section. Should we keep this featured quote too? Uh, I can practically hear you guys saying keep this section too. We'll just replace it with our own quote. All right, fine. We'll keep this section. And so then you have that featured quote and we're going to get rid of this and get rid of that. Perfect. So now let's update the page. And now this stuff would be on our homepage when people found it. So you could replace this with your own branding or your own messages about your site, your own video, your own image slider. And now we're just gonna click add template one more time to get that second little template section that I really love for you guys. And to get to this section, you just have to scroll all the way to the bottom and it's called the hero UI kit right here. So click on that. And like I said, you can keep any of these sections. This is sort of like the one of the more stealth uh, layouts that Elementor built for us. So you could keep that iPhone you could keep the image of the desert and when you insert this you get all the images and you get the laptop image and so on and so forth so it's kind of like we're importing demo content that you don't have to use but you can use at any time on your website so let's click insert and it's just nice because that way our media library has some cool images and you don't have to have that blank site feeling which I know a lot of you guys don't like and I don't like it either then all right, so with this section, I want us to keep the the laptop in the park right here. I think this is super genius. It looks like someone opened up their laptop and they're building an elementary like in Central Park and the park is just behind their laptop. So I really like that. It's really unique and I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna delete the sidewalk, delete this, and you can obviously recreate any of this stuff. It's all done with Elementor in the free version delete that and then we're going to create all of our own stuff all right we're going to delete this 
All right, and even when we delete it, we get this laptop image in WordPress. So we can use it again, which we're gonna. All right, we're gonna delete this little footer here from the foodies. Perfect, and let's update. Good job. So we'll blend each of these elements into our finished product website, but at least we have them to start with.